In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Dynalist in a simple and effective way. Hey everyone, Matt Giaro here and I help content creators create a business around their passion and their expertise. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So with that being said, I wanted to show you today how to use Dynalist and make you a quick tutorial on how you can become basically a Dynalist expert in just a few minutes. So with that being said, Dynalist is an outlining software or it's also called an outliner. And what it actually is, it is, as you see, a special type of text editor used to create an edit outline. So with that being said, it actually, as you see here, has a tree structure organized. And what's the interesting thing also, as you can see, I can just move around the ideas as quickly as that. And also an interesting thing is that I can zoom in on each idea and see exactly what's inside the idea without losing actually the big picture of any kind of project. So what are Dynalist use cases? So it's interesting if you want to organize ideas, project, content, books, um, also your business. And it's also interesting because you can use it actually as a to-do list. So let's just jump right into the settings and the preferences in Dynalist that you can find here at the top right corner. You just have to click on the gear and it will show you basically uh, different settings. So you can, as you can see, change the tame, also change the light density, and you can also like have some different kind of options. So by default, I'm just leaving like those options as they are. Like you could easily actually play around with them. So this is not the main focus of this tutorial here. So one uh, important thing when it comes to Dynalist is actually how to organize files in Dynalist. So as you see, Dynalist has um, like works with, with files and folders, which means that you can just uh, create different files here. As you can see, you can create a new document or a new folder, okay? And if let's say you are switching from another uh, outliner, you can just import here uh, the OPML files, okay? So actually, if I create, let's say, as you see, a new folder here, the thing is that I can just um, also, let's just create a new file just for the sake of this tutorial. So as you can see here, new file and what I can do is like I can just drag uh, and drop basically the new file inside my folder which help organize your files. The thing is that as you can see if you let's just click on any kind of file you're also going to get uh, basically the, the outline of the file and what's interesting is that you can just bookmark any kind of file here and as you can see here on on the left you have here all your files and here only the files that are, that are bookmarked. So this is interesting if you, let's say, if you work, um, let's say you have a specific to-do list or you work on a specific project and you just want to um, like have a clean view, you can just start and then just basically uh, work from it right here. One, one thing that's interesting when it comes to Dynalist, so actually what I do is I'm just knocking out my ideas by hitting enter, as you can see. I can just hit enter and then you have like different keystrokes that you can use in order to make the process really, really simple. So as you can see, if I select everything and then just use the command B for bold, as you can see, it will just flip and, and become bold. Uh, I can also use, let's say, other, other keystrokes like um, command I and then it will just uh, pop up uh, and change. And, and change uh, like so. Interesting feature uh, in Dynalist is as you can see I have a menu here and let me just scroll down a little bit. I can do here is I can just change the background color which makes it very interesting if you want let's say to organize and if you like to and prefer uh, uh, to, to work with colors. What you can also do is as you can see here you can easily apply let's say an H1 uh, tag or an, an H1 style on any kind of um, of node here, which is also quite interesting and and which makes it very nice. Let's say if you zoom in, you see you have like the big title with um, a nice background, um, which makes it actually uh, visually appealing, um, which I really really like in Dynalist. Assume that you want to use Dynalist as a to-do list. What you can do here is you can just go to the add checkbox and then basically create your to-do list. To do one to do two and so on and so forth. And then when you're just done, you can just take it off and you see very easy. So you can easily just set up um, a new file here. Let's say this is my to-do file. Okay, so to-do list as an example, I'm not a big fan of to-do list, but I know that a lot of people are using it and I can just start it. And as you can see, I have it directly here right now in my bookmarks. And what I can do right now is I can just set the first item here uh, as a checkbox. And then, so to do one, to do two, so on and so forth. So I have a little bit big fingers, not able to type correctly, but yeah, you, you see what I mean here. So this is very interesting if you just like 
um, you just have to set it once and then automatically every um, every new node will have actually the tick box, which is quite interesting. Yeah, if you want to use it as a to-do list. Now, just, let's just tackle the search option in Dynalist. As you can see, you have, let's say, um, even like the regular keystroke com command F, which helps you actually search in, um, like you see you have two options, the flat search or the search in all documents. Obviously the flat search would just be in the in the node that or in the file that you're actually in. And if you want to search in all documents, then you just have to press that. And as you can see here, you have also the keystrokes if you want to uh, don't use your mouse for, for that. I just talk about the different shortcuts that you can use. I already talked about them previously, but if you want to have like the full list of the shortcuts, you can just click um, the three lines here. And then as you can see, you can just go here on shortcuts and formatting. And as you can see here, you have like a whole list of actually the keystrokes that you can use in order to um, like make it really like more productive and be more productive using Dynalist. So uh, yeah, I can, I, I just let, let you, uh, check that out here that I wanted to share with you is actually how to use tags in Dynalist. So what's interesting is as an example, let's say um, I'm inside um, an idea here and let's just zoom in. And as you can see, for example, this is an idea, for example, about, um, I don't know, let's say about uh, course creation. I can just create a tag here, course creation. Okay, enter. And then let's say, um, let me just go to another, let's say idea number four. Let me just go go in here. And then to just see, okay, then just write another idea, idea number five, and then let's just add a tag here, course creation, as you can see. Um, the interesting thing is that when I am, um, let's say, going to search here in the doc, I can just type in my uh, hashtag, and as you can see here, course creation, and directly what will pop up is only the nodes with the actual tag. So this can be interesting um, if you want also maybe to use it as a, a note taking kind of thing, or if you, let's say, just want to to tag, let's say, um, like different nodes that you have in a specific topic so that you can just recall them quickly. Yeah, so this is like an interesting way uh, to use actually tags in a Dynalist. And the last option I wanted to show you is actually how you can uh, back up and export your data because this is really important when it comes to your notes because your notes it's actually your work so you should be able to export it and obviously uh, Dynalist allows you to do that so if you want just to download a backup pretty easy you just click here download a backup and then okay download backup and then as you can see it will actually compress it into a zip file that you can directly save onto computer so it makes it really painless when it comes to exporting all your data and if you're on the pro plan um, it can you can easily also set up an automatic backup to drop box, um, which is also pretty convenient. So if you appreciate this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you are a content creator who wants to actually make money from his uh, content. And yeah, with that being said, I see you guys in the next video.